Hey, how you doing? Um, we're gonna mix up some ballistic gelatin right now. There's several videos on YouTube that cover this sort of thing, but a lot of them have recipes that are not going to result in the proper consistency. A lot of them show <laughs> mixing up quantities that would be totally useless for testing any bullets or anything. And um, a lot of them don't mention how, how to calibrate or anything correctly. So I'm going to mix it up on the video, but the, the important thing is to read the instructions and everything in the description there. We're going to start with a little, uh, about a half a cap full of bleach that, um, that helps in, inhibit mold growth. And jet dry will help keep it from foaming up while I'm mixing it. I didn't actually have any jet dry, so I just have this, um, this little packet of Cascade there. This, blue and green stuff in there, that's what that is anyway, so we're just going to poke a hole in there and get some of that in, in there to keep it from foaming up on us while we're mixing it up. The water here is pretty hot. Uh, it's about 130 degrees or so. The hotter the water is, the better. It'll help the gelatin dissolve more quickly, but you do not want to exceed 140 degrees. So uh, definitely want to use a thermometer. Next we're going to throw in a couple of drops of cinnamon oil. You can find this at some of the health food stores and all that sort of thing. Don't get it on your hands, it can burn your skin. But um, it's not for the odor. It makes it smell nice and yummy and all that. But the reason for the cinnamon oil is it helps clarify the gelatin a little bit, a little easier to see through and see the wound trap. We're going to go ahead and put the actual gelatin in. What we got here is five pounds of beef gelatin. Got it off of Amazon, I'll put the link in there. But what we want to do is we want to mix it in there fairly slowly so that it doesn't clump up too bad. So I'm going to start the mixer going. You're not really going to be able to hear me for, for the rest of this and, until we get done. Okay, got most of that broken up. It's probably just about impossible to do this without getting any clumps. Uh, if you can, well, you're a better man than I am. 